Hey, I'm Sam from Solid State Logic, and welcome to this next live series video. The latest update for SSO Live offers exciting new features to provide added functionality and flexibility for the live mixing environment. One standout addition is the ability to directly control the DMB Soundscape immersive loudspeaker system from the console. This feature is available across all SSL Live consoles updated to v5.2. With this new feature, users can now exercise greater control over key soundscaped object parameters, such as XY pan, spread, on space send, delay mode, and the mapping area. All these parameters can be easily accessed and adjusted from the channel detail view, making it easy to fine tune audio output to meet specific requirements. Another exciting addition to the SSL Live v5.2 update is the redesigned rehearsal record feature. This feature now comes with assignable switching groups and fully flexible routing, giving users the ability to manage multiple groups of instruments or different acts within the same show file with ease. These new enhancements make it easier than ever to manage complex audio recordings and ensure a seamless experience for the engineer. The Rehearse Record system has undergone a complete redesign that now includes eight switching groups which can be freely assigned according to user preferences. Both global and local switching options plus an override lock to function per channel are available, making it ideal for a wide range of use cases and fast paced scenarios. With the previous live recorder concept, channel record sends and return routing was fixed and maintained through auto incrementing channels. While this meant the routes would update automatically when channel formats or channel order were changed, it also meant that the routing was rigid and had no flexibility. The new advanced recording system gives users the power to manage that routing as they see fit. The routing of bulk recorder I.O. is now handled through generic MADI and Dante Expander modules, and the console's live recorder concept has been removed. Users can freely route the channel record sends and returns, allowing them to utilise any I.O. and console paths for recording purposes resulting in a highly flexible recording and rehearsal playback system. To access the Rehearse Mode buttons, navigate to the Menu, Setup, Options and the User tab. You will see eight switching groups. Console input channels can be assigned to each group as needed from the channel view. Each group can be named by double tapping the text box allowing for easy identification and each group is assigned a specific colour that appears in both the channel strip and in the status bar for maximum visibility. As before, we have a global rehearse function. To activate the global rehearse mode, press and hold the master button. This will switch all paths in either the follow global or follow group mode into the rehearse mode simultaneously. The group and global rehearse modes can be assigned to user keys or accessed through the event manager. Paths are assigned into rehearse groups from the path input routing detail view. They can be configured as follows. Follow group assigns the path to follow the group switch. Follow local, no switching group is assigned and the channel defaults to live input but can be locally switched to rehearsal input. Follow global, this is the default option. The path is not in a group but is changed when the global rehearse mode is switched. Follow local can be utilised to remove a channel from the switching groups. This is particularly useful for effects returns or sources that are always fed from playback devices routed to the input channel. All these assignments can be saved and recalled with the show file. In addition, lock to live input and lock to rehearsal input override functions can force a path to either the live input or the record return. When a path is locked to the live or rehearsal, its input is not affected by group or global switching. The lock to switch states are not saved in the show file or seen. A real world example of this would be locking a vocalist input to their live microphone so an IEM balance can be honed without the full band needing to be present. By manually routing channel record sends and returns, any I.O. can be used as a recorder and rehearsal replay machine. The routing process is the same as any other signal patching and it is saved and recalled with show files. For fast routing, MADI and Dante expander connections can be set up as recorders and assigned a specific channel block, such as 1 to 32 or 33 to 64 at 96 kHz. This enables bulk routing actions for both the I.O. and the channel record send and return, resulting in a faster configuration process once the channel allocation in console config has been completed. The recorder block chooses the hard patch number of the channels to the I.O. 
Make all route signals one-to-one -one from channel record sent to this device and from this device to the channel record returns. Clear destinations will remove all signals routed to this device and remove all signals routed to these channel record returns. Clear all will remove all routes made to and from both this device and these channel record send and returns. The one-to-one -one routing system utilizes incremental signals through the console channel paths. For instance, a stereo channel path requires two signals on the I.O. and the make function is only accessible when all signal destination points are free for use. Similarly, the clear function can only be used if there are routes that need to be cleared. It's important to note that the routing is directional. One-to-many routing can be easily accomplished with patch routing as it's just a form of distribution. On the other hand, many-to-one routing requires summing and mixing and necessitates buses, which are not present in any patch routing feature. To send a different signal, signal receiving points must be cleared or replaced. When an I.O. device is set to not set, the clear destinations function is automatically activated. This frees up the channel record returns and I.O. outputs so that they can be routed from other signals. However, any legitimate routing of channel record sends and I.O. inputs to destinations outside of the recorder will not be cleared when the recorder I.O. is changed to not set. Furthermore, if Dante Expander is set to a recorder, it will be required to use all of its channel's virtual tie lines rather than dynamic Dante routing. Show files saved in an earlier version of the software will update when loaded and saved in Live 5.2, with Live Recorders being updated to generic MADI I.O. The console channels previously corresponding to the recorder ID will be automatically added to the corresponding switching group. Solid State Logic have partnered with DMB Audio Technic to allow integration to the Soundscape platform. This enables users to seamlessly position objects within the DMB Soundscape Immersive Loudspeaker system straight from their console. Objects can be managed either from console channels or stems, providing full control of XY pan, spread, on space send, delay mode, and the mapping area from the channel detail view. To enable DMB Soundscape on the console, we need to ensure that the host IP address and ports are correctly set on the external control tab located under settings, options, and external control. The following steps must be taken to get communication between the SSL and DMB systems. Firstly, enable control. This toggles the OSC communication for DMB Soundscape, allowing it to be turned on or off as desired. The host IP address requires the IP address of the DS100 device. The incoming port requires setting to the outbound port on the DMB remote protocol bridge when configured for bi-directional communication. The host RX port requires setting to the inbound port on the DS100 for direct communication. Please note that the host IP address entered will be saved in the show file. It's important to remember that each IP address on the network must be unique. You can find the console's IP address displayed on this page for your reference. The console's IP address needs to be in the same subnet as the DS100 IP, but cannot be identical to it. You can enable Soundscape control on any console channel or stem, excluding the drive variants. To do this, navigate to the external control detail view page and choose DMB Soundscape from the select device menu. Another useful feature you will find here is the offset function. In the control path number offset field, you can add an offset to the path number when it's transmitted to the OSC device. For instance, if you're using 48 mono channels and eight stereo stems, the eight channels would use an offset of zero. DMB source IDs would be one to 48. While all stems will use an offset of 48, meaning the DMB source IDs would be 49 to 64. To make setup faster, you can also use path link to assign and enable soundscape control to multiple paths at once and the selected external control device per path will be saved in the show file. In the console path detail view, the UI displays the DMB controls designed for touchscreen use. However, they can also be controlled through encoders in the follow detail mode. The controllable parameters include X and Y control, controlled using the 2D position graphic, the two sliders, or two encoders in the follow detail mode. The spread, controlled using the pinch on the position graphic, the dedicated slider, or the encoder in follow detail mode. The on space send, controlled using the dedicated slider or the encoder in follow detail mode. And the delay mode, 
toggle between off, tight and full with on-screen buttons or hardware switches in the follow detail mode. You can link and control controls on various channels as a group, just like you would with console parameters using Pathlink. Additionally, parameters related to Soundscape can be automated in the same manner as other path parameters. To adjust the store and recall scope, use the external control column found on the Automation Filters page. Thanks for watching this live series video. For more information, head to the Solid State Logic website.